Alrighty guys, you guys welcome back to another episode of the Arrowverse Recap videos. Yeah, whatever this, the crossover week. And so I'm going to be recapping all the crossover episodes. Well, uh, besides Legends of Tomorrow. So I'm going to do the whole crossover and then I'll do Legends of Tomorrow, okay? So, the crossover is called Elseworlds and so Flash took off part one. The threat is Amazo. Um, so, um, clip from the other, at the end of the, all the other episodes. Um, Don Deegan talks to, uh, Imperfect, talks about imperfectness, and so he's like, super men, or super women. Um, a lady storms off, and then everyone leaves, and then... The monitor shows up and gives him the book, which we saw from the other stuff. And he was like, think big. And all he does is change his reality. So Ollie wakes up in Barry's bed. Uh, there's red skies in the air. Um, uh, Oliver, Oliver is now Barry. And Barry is Oliver. It's just so good. And okay, so this is a character growing type of crossover so yeah um he has breakfast with iris he's there's a breaking at ivo labs which I, ivo labs is mezo and mezo is created because ollie kind of doesn't know how to use his speed so he accidentally runs into a box that mezo's in and so mezo is created um, and then Ollie says, oh, Barry, what did you do this time? Um, Ollie woke up a robot, which was Amazo. Uh, Barry versus Diggle, training fight. And, uh, Diggle needs Barry's help with the Broadfa and other people fighting. And so he gets there, and then he's like, did you see that? And he's like, stop falling around. About to get hit in the back. Oliver comes in, saves them both, and he's like, oh, I'm, I'm glad to see you. And then, so then they talk, and so the boys tell, try telling the team, um, um, Ollie, Ollie talks with Iris, and what we learn from that is that Iris was told that Felicity, okay, so Felicity told Iris how Oliver got to prison. Yeah. So then he's like, she really did that? <sighs> and then they get that then the team knocks him out. I mean, since Barry can't get drunk, narrow talk it from Ray Paul. Knock him out. And so, um, Cisco gets a vibe of the monitor. Um, Ollie laughs at Brooke. Okay, so, since they're in the freaking pipeline. And so, the only way to get out is with the toilet. And so, he kicks open a toilet and clog the toilet. That's how they're gonna break out. Well, break the meta part of the thing. And so he has to break his thumb to get in there. He clogs it and then Oliver's laughing like <laughs> just looking at it freaks me out. And then he pays out of there. And he's like, I did it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go for you. Okay, so yeah, only laughs that broken thumb. Um they go to Earth 38, it plays the Smallville theme, and so they go to the Kent Farm Para and Clark talk about identity. And how it's good. Um, the boys meet Lois and Clark. Uh, she, they, sh the boys show her that things have changed. Um, Robot is destroying Ivo Labs, and Elongated Man and Frost are there trying to stop him. But I, but, but Mezo takes their powers, but not like melting point. Um, skill practice, and then okay, so. Over the over over the other crossovers, they like, they keep saying the joke about him getting shot in the back, and so they finally did it again. But he was like, "Oh, dude, I've been waiting for four years to do that, man." And so that's just cool. Okay, um, Amazo Amazo stands for anti meta human adaptive Xenotomine. Xenotomine. organism. Zodium organism. And then they're like, well, this isn't even Tuesday. And, um, uh, Barry and Ollie talk how to be each other. Like, 
I live my life being happy. That's how you fade. It took you to grow anger to break your thumb. And so, yeah. Angry, broke thumb, and phase laughing. Um, okay, off balance Mazo to. So we can't copy. Um, Some girl flash, man, man, arrow, and Mazo hunting for more. Mazo is hunting for more, and he so he takes Supergirl, Man, Flash, Arrow powers. Um, and then a Mazo, Mazo down, and then they go to the same building that was from Crisis on Earth X. And Sherlock's wife on Earth 38, and so he gives that to Clark, and he's like, Could you give this check to her? <laughs> um, Cisco tells that he had a vibe with this guy. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, we figure out that the Monitor and uh, Dr. Deegan are in Gotham, so they go to Gotham, so, and I'll get to all the quotes at the end like I did last time, okay, so, Arrow, part two of the Yes World Crosser, Barry as Oliver intro, that was pretty weird and we were kind of like, why didn't that happen last time, it's because reality wasn't changed yet, that's why, um, Argus mission is Joy and Wolfman, which is the son of Deathstroke, um, and Curtis is there. So, um, team help Diggle, how? And um, yeah, okay. Uses Argus to change skies. Um, talk about Batman, like, dude, Batman's an urban legend. No, he's not. Kara and Kara and Barry. No, he's real. He's on. Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, and Gotham City searching for John Deegan and the Monitor um, with Team Attack and arrested so they got to prison and then they got broken out by Kate Kane which is Batwoman and so, mm. um, Storm follows Barry and Oliver so that means it's trying to it's something trying to breach through and so yeah um, Cisco and Caitlin come to help um, handle, handle the situation, they handled the situation like each other about being robbed and that stuff, so he was trying, Oliver was trying to dumb down the situation while Barry just came in and kicked everyone's booty. So. Uh, team, uh, out, escorted to Wayne Tower, out by Kit Kane, um, Yeah, okay, so something is coming something is coming through from the red skies. That's what the red skies are mean. Someone trying to come through. Uh Kara puts pieces together about Kit Kane and that one? Kit Kane being that one, that's what I was trying to say. Okay. So Wi Fi password is Alfred. Uh Caitlin talked to Felicity and Felicity figured out a quantum flexate, which is draw out whatever is coming. And so Kane and Car talk about Bruce Wayne. The, the Car Kane is Bruce Wayne's cousin, and find out John works at Arkham Asylum. Kane suits up. Oh uh, yeah, and so uh, whatever thing that's coming through is the Earth 90 Flash, <coughs> and he's like, "We get the book. You, you get get the book. You can change the reality back." And so breaking into Arkham. Mm. They use Caitlin to get in there. It's, um, yeah, he's a dog. So, uh, looking for D. So Carl's using her. No. Uh, okay. So they find D. And he, he's like, but why do I want to? Well, why would I want to? Looks like I want to become the Flash. But it looks like changing reality has a bit of a learning curve. Um, Digging got time and got out and let out the prisoners. Um, yeah, Diggle's there too. Um, crazy lady needs to stay cold, and so she hits her with a blast. And, she and yeah, and so Caitlin calls her a cold bitch. Um, Digging escapes with book. Without the book, 
Digging escapes, but without the book. Yeah. I think. I don't remember, but yeah. Diggle versus the prisoners while Batwoman, ap Batwoman's appearance she just breaks down and takes down a cool guy. Alright. So, um, Oliver throws some lightning, knocks down this fear toxin, which was, is from Scarecrow. And so they see their worst fears. Barry, or Oliver sees Reverse Flash, and Barry sees the Dark Archer, Malcolm Merlin. And so, if, but they're actually fighting each other, and... What they hear is what the other person is. And so, Oliver is hearing what Reverse Flash did to Barry and all, Malcolm Merlin. And, or Barry is hearing what Malcolm Merlin did to Oliver. It's just really confusing. Okay, and then Barry, Barry and Oliver talk about what just happened. Um, monitor tests heroes for a crisis. Um, and so yeah, they got the book, and so the monitor gives the book back, and because he was un unimpressed by what he did, and then he told him to think bigger, and so he rewrote reality again, and so this are the changes right now. Um, Barry and Oliver are the Trigger Twins, uh, villains, cops, and Diaz, Wolf, and Merlin are villain cops. Um, black and black suit Superman. And so, at the end of that episode, we had no idea what he was. And so, then we start out this episode as Deegan saying, Oh, I'm, I'm Dr. Deegan. I come from Gotham City. Uh, yeah. And I rewrote reality and I became Superman. So yeah, Dr. Deegan is the black suit Superman. And then, Ollie sh Okay, so, he's getting pissed off at him. He shoots his structure down to go crush it on them. And he pushes them back to crush it on them. Then... Oliver gets a gun, shoots it down, and he's like, you want to save them or stop us? And then he goes to save the people because he wants to be a hero, and then they escape. Yeah, Oliver should structure to escape. Um, Frost and Diggle work for Deegan and Al also Alex. Uh, Kara's in the pipeline because he had nothing on her in the book. Uh, Deegan threatens Kara. Um, Find Cisco, breach Earth 38. Get real Superman. That's Barry and Oliver's mission. Um, okay, so Gary is in this crossover. Gary's a bartender, so that legends were still kind of a part of the crossover, but they're not a part of the crossover, which is kind of cool. Um, uh, yeah, the monitor talks to the boys before they get to the bar, and they're like, Oliver's mission is to find his true side. <sighs> and then the Cisco's the boss, and so they need a pitch to the boss. And so Kara talks to Alex about the past. No, not about the past stuff. Tries to talk to Alex. Um, James is Cisco's bodyguard type person. Um, stop getting. Stop getting a beating. By saying, I know your brother, he's Dante. And then the, their pitch is to stop Superman. And so Cisco likes that idea. Uh, Cisco breaches to Rob. I uh, put vibe, but Rob is what needs to go there. Uh, breach training, which takes 17 tries to get to Earth 38. Um, weird speech to get out, also passed off. Um. The boys, t the boys tell Superman what's going on, and the book is at Star Labs. Um, Superman versus Superman, Oliver versus Diggle and Frost, while Kara, Alex, and Barry are looking for the book in the Fortress of Solitude. And then Barry goes on to say, "This isn't a Fortress of Solitude. This is the Time Vault." Which the book is still there, but whatever. Mm. The Time Vault is no. The Time Vault is the Solitude. Is what that was saying. Um, Clark knows how to rewrite reality. Um, Clark fixes things like Ollie back to Arrow and Barry back to Flash. Um, but the monitor's test is to overcome the darkness for Ollie. Um, Deegan gets away with the book. Uh, Deegan is doing it again. She's trying to do it again. And so, Kara and Ollie. 
Kara and Barry need to run around the world to stop time so they get the book so someone can quickly grab the book. But then, in the book, they both die. So Oliver goes to talk, goes to see Monitor to change their destiny. Um, and so, uh, yeah. Deegan brings back Amazo. Um, Barry and Manhunter come to help. Brainy and Manhunter come to help. Uh, Clark and Lois having a bee. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so. So, they're, they're starting to stop time. And so they do. And so, he uses the book against them. And, um, so he uses the book against them. And then Lois is flying and then he's down. So time stops. And then Oliver comes out with an arrow. Shoots it. Shoots the book and him. Which he flies back. And his face gets ruined and it's making his face look like the comic book accurate D that from Dusty. Um Yeah, and then they go back and then they go back to Earth 38, and then Clark and Lois are having a baby. Don't know if that's gonna play into the car sh or in the Supergirl episode. Um Barry and Oliver get their drink, and while during that drink Oliver gets a call from that one. And Deegan made a friend, and at the end of that episode, he's like, Earth's, well, do 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 beep beep e. And so, yeah. So, the crisis that Monitor was talking about is coming in 20, fall, 2019. <laughs> this isn't fall. This is when the crossover's happening. Wait. Is the crossover coming at the end of these seasons? What? Oh my yeah. Are the shows gonna end? And then the boy. Okay, but anyway, the shows are coming back. When the shows are coming back, Flash is coming back January fifteenth. Arrow is coming back January twenty first. And Supergirl is coming back January twentieth. So I might do like an episode one, like like this again. Probably. That's like a January, so yeah. Be right. So yeah, I'll think about that when I come back. <sighs> but yeah, the quotes. Flash, Kara saying, "Love is the most unselfish thing in the world." Arrow, Oliver saying, "I'm I'm the original vigilante, Barry," because he's like literally the original. He's like the very first person to, to start this whole thing. And if you think about it, <laughs> this one a whole. This went so far, um, and then in the Supergirl era, Supergirl episode, Barry saying, "This isn't, the, yeah, I'm, okay, I'm just saying this again. This isn't the time. This isn't a fortress of anything. This is the time vault." <laughs> I just think that was funny. Okay, I might have to use this again this year for the crisis on Infinite Earth. Okay, so now. So now on to the boring part. Um, Legends of Tomorrow, episode eight, called Legends, Legends of To Meow Meow. I understand why it's called To Meow Meow now, because Zarya was turned into a cat. Got it. Okay. So uh, the time all over. Um, the place from past episodes, but the new time we are introduced to is Vegas 1962, where the magical fugitive is a leprechaun. And so, yeah, okay. So, Charlie reunites with a friend leprechaun, like I just said, in Vegas 1962. Uh, Mick, Nate, and Ray are the con custodians, the custodians of the chronolog chronologically. Um, also, they killed the leprechaun. Um, Zari Cat, because of Godmother. Uh, missed call from Kara Oliver and Barry. And then Ray says the quote of this episode, which I'm, I'll get to. Uh, shoot. Shoot on sight because of Woodstock. What happened to Woodstock? And what happened to Woodstock? Sarah dead. Um, a unicorn. Uh, Charlie K. 
can talk to Zari. Um, Constantine is in confinement. It's because he's getting crazy. He's he has past. He has that timeline memories, and he has this timeline memories. And so, uh, go to New Orleans to get get time back to sh in shape. But he doesn't do that. He keeps thinking, they keep thinking if they keep going back in time to try to stop these things, that it'll be perfect. But it doesn't. Because they try it so many times that it's actually back to normal. But it's not. Um, Mona, Mona wants to help, and they also got Ava to help um, the first time. Um, John and Charlie. Don't know what I put there. Um, Bureau versus uh, custodians and team go to other timeline. Um, stop unicorn, which they do. But now Nate, Mick, Nate, and Roy are dead thanks to the fairy godmother. Um, Ava, Gideon, and Sarah are the SOS, which is the sirens of space time. So Charlie has to join the SOS to hopefully understand what happened to them and then they get it and she knows that the fairy godmother did it and so they unbind the fairy godmother with him and then but then the fairy godmother joins with Mick and so yeah uh, now the legends are puppets too because that's what Mick wants I guess I don't know uh, John passes out from old timeline um, three Johns now and so John finally accepts that he needs to go make Des die. Uh, then yeah, three Johns, one from the Constantine show, one from this show, and then the third one from this episode. Um, John clears De Des Des's mind, and old old John kisses Des, and so that uh, fixes the timeline. Um, Ava reads Mick's book, and she likes it. Uh, John tells Sarah, well, that's what I suppose he did, um, yeah, and the last thing is Hank, he would, and Dez are playing golf, and Dez is that Nariti thing, the demon that Constantine talked about last episode, but I don't because <coughs> I'm just that bad. And so, yeah, the quote of this episode is Ray saying, Sounds like the annual crossover. And, yeah, in the Supergirl episode, Kara's like, This is kind of feeling like an annual thing. One person's like, I hope not. Okay. Now, let's talk about crisis. Okay, here's what I think. Well, well, here's what I think. It's coming back. Uh, either after the shows or before the shows are done. I hope before, because then we'll get Batwoman back and Superman back. Oh, dude, this is just gonna be good. All right, so yeah. All right, guys. Hope you guys like this video. If you guys did, please leave a click down below. If you guys not already, please subscribe. I'm recording this on a Tuesday, but it's gonna come out on Thursday. Um, uh, but. Whatever. Peace. Crisis? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's boring.